How to assign sign conventions to free fall bodies. Consider a child standing on top of a tower of height h. The child throws a ball up with an initial velocity u. The ball follows its trajectory and hits the ground with final velocity v. We need to find the time taken by the ball to reach the ground and the final velocity with which the ball hits the ground. To start with, let's first decide the signs of acceleration due to gravity, height and velocity of the ball. We set origin at the top of the tower from where the child is throwing the ball. Measurements taken above the origin will be taken as positive and below the origin will be taken as negative. Since the bottom of the tower is below the origin, therefore, we will consider the height of tower as negative h. The ball is thrown in the upward direction which is above the origin. Therefore, we will consider initial velocity as positive u. Acceleration due to gravity is always negative because it will always act in downward direction. Substituting these values in second equation of motion, we get minus h equal to ut minus half gt square. Multiplying by 2 on both sides, we get minus 2h equal to 2 ut minus gt square. Or gt square minus 2 ut minus 2h equal to 0. From quadratic formula, we can find the value of t. That is t equal to u plus minus square root u square plus 2 gh whole divided by g. Or we can write t1 equal to u plus square root of u square plus 2 gh whole divided by g. And t2 equal to u minus square root u square plus 2 gh whole divided by g. Neglecting t2 value because time can't be negative. For final velocity, we use third equation of motion. V square equal to U square plus 2 AS. Substituting the values of acceleration due to gravity and height, we get V square equal to U square plus 2 minus G into minus H. Hence V is equal to minus under root U square plus 2 GH. Since the final velocity of the ball is below the origin, there will be a negative sign. Let's solve a problem based on this concept. Question. From a tower of height h, a particle is thrown vertically upwards with a speed u. The time taken by the particle to hit the ground is n times taken by it to reach the highest point of its path. The relation between h, u and n is... Here the options are. This question was asked in JEE Main 2014 exam. Solution. We are given the height of tower is h. A particle is thrown vertically upwards with a speed u. We know time of ascent is equal to u divided by g. We have already derived the time taken by the particle to hit the ground to be equal to u plus under root u square plus 2gh whole divided by g. We are given that time taken by the particle to hit the ground is equal to n times time taken by the particle to reach the highest point g gets cancelled out. Under root u square plus 2 gh equal to u into n minus 1. Squaring both sides, we get u square plus 2 gh is equal to u square into n minus 1 whole square. 2 gh is equal to u square into n minus 1 square minus 1 square. 2 gh equal to n u square into n minus 2. Hence, option C is correct. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.